Pari egere karkeli tekiar mushagutai miucham artsans hagortum neru ais nergatsman aisor im yerort nergatsumse andruchuneru masnakto anhat neruet vorong federal gam municipal andruchuneru masnaktsin j'ai l'honneur aujourd'hui de d'avoir avec nous deux invités que je, je vous euh, introduis. Alors, avec moi, j'ai deux candidates qui sont d'origine arménienne et qui essayent d'être élus dans le, la municipalité de Ville-Mont-Royal. Alors, j'ai avec nous, nous avons avec nous Madame Michel Setlacoué et j'ai aussi euh, Madame Cynthia Koutia. Les deux sont d'origine de, arménienne et sont avec nous pour discuter de, de l'enjeu électoral euh, dans Ville-Mont-Royal. Uh, Mrs. Setlakwe, we can either speak in English or French. So I, I want you to introduce yourself and your party that you are leading as a mayor candidate. Certainly. So thank you so much, Mr. Manukian, for, for having us, for hosting this interview. We appreciate it a lot. So I'm Michelle Setlacoui. Um, I've been living in TMR for the past 20 years. This is where I, I've been raising my children who are now aged 14, 16, and 18 with my husband. Uh, I'm a lawyer by training. And I practiced for 10 years in a large law firm. And, but then when I had my, my third child, I decided to stay at home for a few years and take care of the family, which I really don't regret. I never went back to the practice of law. Uh, mais le droit mène à tout, comme on dit. Alors, uh, le droit m'a mené au Conseil municipal de Ville-Mont-Royal, où j'ai été élue en 2016. Uh, je suis donc actuellement conseillère municipale. Et cinq ans plus tard... Uh, C'est avec grand enthousiasme que je me présente à la mairie de Ville-Mont-Royal et I formed a, a, a great team along with Jonathan Lang, who's also a current counselor. Jonathan and I are, are current counselors, but we've formed a, a team of dynamic and energetic new candidates for the next elections that will be held in November. So we have Cynthia Kutsia, who's, who will be running in District 2, and we have a full team, so we have candidates in each district. Um, and we are getting ready. We are very active on social media right now. And as the, the campaign will be, will be officially beginning um, later this month on September 17th, we are getting ready to go door to door and to meet residents and, and, and to, to explain our platform. Yes, uh, now we'll uh, go to Cynthia uh, Kutia. So uh, introduce yourself. Uh, she is a professional engineer and she has worked in the field. She is a mother of three also. So we welcome you, Mrs. Kutia. And uh, you could address uh, in Armenian as well to our audience and uh, mixed uh, French or English. So thank you for the, accepting the invitation. Thank you. Mezi Gastunekur, I saw Yev Hagagan Zohobutin head hosting Yev Desnavink. So, yes, I'm, uh, I'm um, a mother of three engineer who's been in TMR for uh, approximately five years. Uh, my husband and I uh, spent eight years abroad in living in Dubai and decided uh, to come back home where our family is in Canada and Montreal. And, uh, you know, we, we decided on TMR as the city to, to raise our kids for the quality of the schools, for the, 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 um, the services that are offered, the diversity in the, in the neighborhood. So it's a, it's a great place. We're enjoying it thoroughly. And as you said, I'm an engineer by training. I've worked in the industrial uh, gas industry most of my career and when I had my third child a bit like Michelle you know you you uh, you start to re-evaluate re a bit your priorities and I took some time off um, 
to to spend with my family and take care of my family. So uh, I, soon as I got into TMR, I got involved into the community, especially the local schools where my children, at which my children attend. And uh, so um, I got involved into the foundation. I'm the president of the Fondation Saint Clément, and uh, it's a, it's a great opportunity. And I got involved in municipal politics initially during uh, the referendum for the Rec Center, uh, which yes. was a, a big issue here in TMR. Michelle approached me. I got involved into the Yes Committee. So it was my first taste of you know, what we can do, how engaged we can get as citizens in our community. That's and, great. Yeah. Let, let me interrupt you. I want to present to my audience the, your uh, Armenianness. Uh, Mrs. Setlakwe is uh, one of the all the, uh, the third generation of one of the oldest Armenian families who were installed in uh, Canada. And these were the uh, Sarafian family. And uh, the Sarafians uh, were six brothers. Three of them were massacred in the Hamidian uh, 1894, 96 uh, massacres. Three of the brothers arrived here. Uh, the, the grandfather of Mrs. Setlakwe was Raymond Setlakwe. Uh, Setlakwe, as a matter of fact, uh, means uh, six brothers uh, in Arabic. So they were six brothers. That's why they became, they adopted the name Setlakwe. You can correct Mrs. Setlakwe if I'm wrong. So the, the Sarafians are represented by Michelle now, and she's running for the mayorship uh, of the city of Mount Royal. Uh, Mrs. Kutya is uh, uh, almost full Armenian uh, and uh, she, uh, her mother is uh, Armenian, yeah. Chamkentenian, and uh, the father's side, they were uh, Gizmejian and Pilibosian, right? His mother, his mother was Ismedian. Yeah. Ismedian, and yeah. the father was Pilibos. No, the, that was my grand grandmother, maternal uh, grandmother yes. from my mother's side. Yeah. And your father was uh, a yeah, half, half Armenian, yeah. so that's where the Kutia family comes. Uh, Cynthia speaks very well Armenian and uh, the other languages. So let's elaborate now. What decided you to, to run for the mayorship, Mrs. Setlakwe? Uh, it's my passion for municipal politics. Um, really, since 2016, when I was first elected as a councillor, um, I learned so much. The first two years were really uh, learning and um, participating in as many committees and uh, events as possible. I mean, I knew the community very well because this is where I, I was raising my children and I was involved as Cynthia in the uh, local public schools. Um, but really when you, when, when, you, when you sit on council, you learn so much, you learn how a town is run. And I, I discovered that our town is, is run very well. There's some very, uh, a great team at town hall. So I, I think that it's, it's a good collaboration between the elected officials and the town administration. We can do so much for the betterment of the town. As counselors, we're there to, to listen to residents and to bring feedback and ideas to, to the administration and, and make suggestions and adopt. When, and when it's budget time annually, we we can we have our we have our voice we have a word to say in which projects should be should be made a priority what what we should be doing to to better the town so it's really uh, I, I discovered a passion after um, learning so much and getting involved I thought to myself I could do this full time it was a privilege I wasn't even working I was I was looking forward to the next meetings and and reading all the materials that were being sent to me on the different files and, and projects. Um, so really, it, it was, it, I just found it so interesting and I decided to take it to, to the next level. And as my kids are getting older, 
I think it's time for me to, to go back to work and to really um, fulfill this challenge. And I want to do it for this town that I love. It's a great place to live and it's a great way of giving back and making sure that this, that this community remains a great place to live with the, an amazing quality of life. And this is what we want to give back to. What we receive, we want to give it back to our, make sure it stays the same for our children and the future generations. Yeah, Mrs. Uh, St. Lacroix, uh, I have a question which is tricky. I don't know. Why, why didn't you run with the uh, Philippe Roy existing party, which you were a member, and uh, you decided to separate from Philippe Roy uh, party? I know that he's not running as a mayor now, but what made you? Uh, run and create this Uni pour ville Montréal, uh, United for TMR party. Why was that uh, adopted? No, it's it's not a tricky question. It, it's normal that you're asking the question. I I, I spent five years working with the, the current councillors and I had a great working relationship with them. I have much respect for them and all the, the enormous contribution that they've brought to the town um, it, and, and they're ready to retire. And Merwa had announced to me and we had a very good working relationship for years. He was involving me a lot in the files and, and getting me ready and, and, and groomed in a sense. So uh, I knew that he was not running um, and I had spoken to all the others. I think there comes a time where after three, four, I think even seven mandates in the case of Mr. Miller, it's time to have La Relève, to have new a, new, a new team come in. So, and I got along very well with Jonathan Lang, who was the, after me, the, 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 the person who was elected last on council in 2017. Um, and so we decided to, to create a new team and to bring in new blood, fresh blood, new energy uh, for this town. Uh However, the experience, past experience, is a, a must. Uh, so, uh, I guess you you will act as a, the transition element to lead the new team. Uh, now, I will ask the same question to Mrs. Kutia. In Chuamar Miyatak Unipur Vilma Royal Gusakchuchan Yevoch Himakwa Gusakchuchan. Uh, for, um, Michelle, was that not? Uh, I'm sorry, it's going to be difficult for me to, 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 to say this in Armenian, so I can, I can okay. switch to French. But Michelle avait envie, uh, c'était le temps d'amener de la nouvelle énergie, d'apporter une, 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 un, un, un renouveau à ce qui se passait au, au, au niveau du conseil de ville. Euh, elle a réussi à attirer des gens de calibre, de qualité, qui sont diverses. On a chacun nos forces euh, et on, a, on apporte quelque chose de différent à l'équipe et, et tous nos, tous nos atouts se marient très bien ensemble. Donc, euh, c'est donc excitant de travailler avec elle et l'équipe qu'elle a formée Euh, L'énergie est magique entre nous tous et puis euh, on a des bonnes idées pour la ville. On a, on a tout ce qu'il faut pour pouvoir euh, continuer à offrir aux résidents euh, cette qualité de vie qu'on adore tous et, euh, et aussi euh, euh, continuer à porter la, la, la ville dans les, les, les gros projets qui, qui sont devant nous et guider, tout, guider la, la, la population vers tout ça. Le message de notre entrevue aujourd'hui, c'est que j'invite à la communauté arménienne ainsi que leur entourage, les Arméniens ainsi que leur entourage, de vous supporter démocratiquement par leur vote et de faire de sorte que la, la voix arménienne qui représente une diversité euh, à Montréal et au Canada, soit présenté, soit présent dans le, les, au niveau municipal, provincial et fédéral. Et voilà, vous êtes en train de euh, 
exercé euh, ce, ce droit et vous présentez une diversité euh, très euh, acceptable comme euh, candidate à la mairie ou euh, au niveau de district euh, pour l'élection de 7 novembre. Alors, euh, moi, j'encourage la communauté de faire leur possible to talk to you, their neighbors uh, and uh, democratically support your candidacy. So we are, I'm not here promoting your uh, uh, platform, but encouraging Armenians to support and uh, other uh, Armenians to be elected as uh, in such important roles in the city. Now I have another question to elaborate. Uh, TMR uh, has three major projects which uh, are uh, on the table. One of them is uh, the Rockland Shopping Center development. The other one is the extremely expensive and big Royal Mount project. And the third one is the uh, community center, which you both adhered on the yes side. There was a referendum and the yes side vo voted, uh, won, and you were supporting that. Now the uh, community center is a patachod. It, uh, it, it became an ex expensive, uh, project to undertake with a smaller budget, which is doubled now by the bids that you received. Can you elaborate on that, Mrs. Setlakwe? Certainly. Um, I believe strongly that TMR needs uh, a new, a new sp sports and community center. Um, this has been a, a in the works, discussed and planned for many, many years. Uh, as I've said earlier, my children are teenagers now, 14, 16, and 18, but when they were little, um, I went to all the activities. We used the facilities. I, I tried to get them into swimming lessons. Uh, and I, I, I discovered that TMR is a fantastic place to live and great services, but there's really a lack and we're, we're, we're way behind in terms of sports uh, facilities and installations, and we can't offer all the classes uh, and activities that our community needs. So I won't do, you know, redo all the history of the project, but it has been in the works for a very long time. And we were finally ready to, uh, to go to tender uh, the, the loan because we do have to borrow money in order to, um, to build this, this, this center that we need. Uh, and when, unfortunately, we went to tender at the worst possible time, uh, as we all know, during the pandemic, there uh, was a situation of surchauffe extreme in the market of construction. We only received two submissions, so we were really... And I think what we need to do is take uh, the project. We will certainly activate it. Certainly, it's a question of time before we can build the center. There will be some adjustments. It will be necessary to look at si on change le mode de réalisation, mais pour nous, notre équipe, il est clair que le centre qui a été présenté et pour lequel les résidents ont statué, c'est ce qu'on veut, c'est ce dont on a besoin et on est prêt à emprunter les, euh, les, les, les sommes requises. Le règlement d'emprunt prévoit un emprunt de 28 millions. Donc, on va aller de l'avant avec, avec ce projet-là. On va faire certains ajustements, on va voir, on va, on va consulter les experts, mais on va de l'avant. C'est une question de temps. Euh, le marché euh, va sûrement se calmer, mais on ne peut pas attendre trop longtemps parce que je pense que même dans le passé, avant la pandémie, euh, les coûts de construction augmentent d'une année à l'autre et puis les besoins de la communauté, eux, ne changent pas. Au contraire, ils sont grandissants. Oui, merci. C'est quand même un élément important pour les citoyens de Ville-Mont-Royal, les payeurs de, de taxes, euh, le budget de 28 000 de, de près, c'est un élément important s'il faut doubler ou même plus que doubler l'empreinte, euh, c'est un élément. 
que vous devriez euh, prendre en considération. Les autres éléments... Oui, non, non, on ne veut pas doubler l'empereur. Non, non, absolument pas. Mais, mais les, les soumissions qui ont été reçues euh, ne représentent pas euh, le, 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 le coût véritable du projet. Ce il n'est il, il, pas un projet de, de 90 millions de dollars. Euh, oui. Il, il, faut, il faut décortiquer les soumissions. Il y a eu du travail de fait déjà à la Ville avec le gestionnaire de projet. Euh, il faut aller de l'avant. Le, le, le projet va peut-être nécessiter un emprunt additionnel, mais on ne parle pas de doubler l'emprunt qui est envisagé, non, certainement. Bon, on va changer le sujet. Euh, Madame Setlacoué ou euh, Cynthia, est-ce que vous avez fait des sondages euh, parmi votre, les électeurs pour voir Uh, what's the sentiment? Uh, what are your chances of forming the council majority, minority? Uh, have you any good news or uh, well, sentiments? I, I, can't, I can't say we've done any official uh, sondage, but uh, I think all the, the positive words and comments and support that we're getting from our neighbors, from our friends in the community is very, very encouraging. Uh, people are so happy with our team and the representation within our team. It's been quite positive from the, from the day that we announced. And Mrs. Setlakwe, what's your feeling? I, I, I agree with Cynthia. I mean, we're, we're, we're working hard and we'll be working hard until election day to get the vote out and to get uh, our supporters and volunteers helping us out. The most important thing in a municipal election is to, is to do the canvassing, to go knock on doors, to meet residents. So we'll be working hard and we're cautiously confident uh, in our chances of, of succeeding. We, we, we encourage residents to go vote and that's the most important yeah. thing. Uh, Mrs. Kutia, can you uh, rapidly say the extreme boundaries of your district number two? Yes, it's, it's a bit of an, uh, it's a new district. The districts have been redefined for uh, for these elections. So it's uh, it's on the east side of TMR. It's a L that is formed from the town center along Laird. So between Laird and Kenora. And then I would say from Melbourne, north till uh, Brittany. So uh, we'll, we'll provide you with a map and it'll give you a good idea of yes. the district. Yeah. On the map, we will see yeah. the, the exact boundaries. Naturally, uh, the, the mayorship uh, covers the whole, uh, the whole city. Uh, so I would like to end this discussion. The message is clear that I'm asking our voters, your voters, to give a vote of confidence for your team. And uh, I'll let you have uh, the last word and we'll end uh, this uh, interview. Oui, Mr. alors Mr. vous me permettez? Yeah. Oui, ben, nous, euh, le, le plus important en politique municipale, c'est de, de bien vous représenter et pour bien vous représenter, in order to represent you properly, We need you to participate. We need to get your feedback. So we will reach out to you, but please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Uh, the most important thing, our most important role, the most important thing is to listen and be your voice. And, uh, and, and if you don't reach out to us and if we don't speak and if we don't communicate, um, then it defeats the purpose. So please reach out to us. And please, as Cynthia said, Make your voices heard. You reach, go out and vote. It's important. Yes. This uh, Kutia, your last word, please. Go thank you for this novel. I will vote in head. Mezi telephone rek email her getse katek mer website to this the vetsek. Hartuner unikne me go thank you for this novel ser head. Thank you. I'll uh, repeat again. Uh, on behalf of the Tekeam Cultural Association, we wish you all the best. Good luck to you. Work hard, and we're supporting you. I'm a voter, but not at your district two. I think I'm in district seven. However, I encourage our uh, 
citizens of TMR to reach out and uh, help our Armenian candidates. I really appreciate your interview. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Good. Good luck to you all. Thank, Thank you. you.